No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you with your computer background. All right, I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python. <laughs> Brian, Brian, Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks. Well, I do kind of have a thing for nerds, but oh. I'm also a sucker for someone in uniform. So I guess you tick multiple boxes. <laughs> so any particular reason you're not at the She's nerd trying to factory smash. anymore? 100% trying to smash. Um. And it's complicated. Multiple reasons, I guess. Push and pull. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something <laughs> Wait, different. Wait, look anyway. at that. I used to live look in at Los the Angeles. picture of the woman in the background. Oh, really? That one over there. Then, yeah. Do you see it? Providence Oaks She's is like, pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter for one thing. My God. Slower for another. What a portrait! I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, those are the two things I like best about it. Me too. I think. It took some getting used to. So tell me about this plan of yours. Pretty accurate. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you I to want distribute you. movies all over Providence Oaks. Oh, shit. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town. You're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look. It's a VCR in a box, and it's Same portable thing, too, much. so you can take it to anyone. Good job, Angie. Wow. Wow. Never seen one of those before. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. It's like Netflix. <laughs> it's okay, like the OG Netflix. What's the revenue model here? Oh, you. Have you guys ever had Not like the everything is about money? It's about promoting the store. Which I guess she is knows ultimately what's good. about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? Yes. The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and a nightmare on Elm Street. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it for now. If you're in, that is. So, you in? 100%. All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. babe. Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, <sighs> she's I trying to really smash. One hundred percent. Oh, what's One hundred percent smash. I left the store smash unattended. Request. Better get back. She left the store unattended. I understand. I understand. Talk to you soon. I get it. Absolutely. Look at that lighting. Well, where'd you go? Bye, babe. Bye, babe. Hello? Hey, Meredith. Hey, Dad! How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to Mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? Yes. I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Frank's quite the character indeed. Is he married? Frank married? Yes, to baseball. He places a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. Is he? He was excited about the Giants playing baseball. Unless there's a Giants team that plays baseball. I'm not too sure. But. Huh. I don't know if he's that. He's lying. There's something going on here. Who's Mildred again? Who's Bert? Let's find out. And about Bert. what about Bert Mackey? Bert. Uh, Bert doesn't like.
like to talk much, but he's got a heart of gold. Stay on his good side. Speaking of staying on the good side, your mom's telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand by me. Uh, about four Oregon boys in the 50s. Oregon. Right up my alley. It's Oregon. Sounds good. Say hi to mom Not for Oregon. me. Not Oregon. Will do. Bye, Oreg Meredith. Oregon. Oregon? Oregon. I don't fucking know. Or Oregon. Okay. What are we doing? We should work on the material. Oh look, she's typing All right, without making any noise. Go. Oh, the, she has the same fucking portrait! Holy shit, she's got the same portrait as Lori! Okay, return to post office. We're not returning to the post office, we just started our day. Rise what are you, crazy? Shine, the time has come for a Today's a rainy day. Alright, let's go, we gotta go up. I gotta go up a bit. And then we gotta go, which way are we going? I guess we'll go down. We don't really have to drop anything off over there. Okay, we'll go, we'll do the main, main area, as per usual. And then we'll hit up, um, oh shit. Alright, let's go. Today's contribution is from Mildred, the senior authority on pets and thieves. Mildred. It's so positive this time, Jack. My cat, Mortimer, was feeling ill, but thanks to Bert Mackey and our new mailman, Meryl, he's in great It's not my name. Again. That's fantastic news, Mildred. Now let's see if it will keep raining cats and dogs. I'm happy to say it will be dry later on with a bit of sunshine. Ooh. Back to the playlist. Which house is this one? It's this one on the left, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Onwards. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Gross! I got it all over my windscreen. Ah, oh, sneezing feels good. Sneezing is like it's a it's a pretty good feeling. It's one of those oddly satisfying things, you know. All right, let's get out of here. Like it, it like it's like cleansing, you know. The cleansing of the palate. Jeez, it's cleansing, but you know. All right, let's turn this let's turn this bad boy around. Fuck. You know, I was playing, so I got F F1, the 2021 version, yesterday, because it's on sale. There's a lot of things on sale now. But I got it, and I started playing it. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty bad at racing. I'm good at, I'm good at racing in, which house is this? I'm good at, like, uh, GTA driving, for some reason. But I'm not good at actual racing. I was thinking about getting a wheel and stuff, you know? Getting a wheel, Ooh, being interesting. a pro. Interesting. I would 100% get a wheel. I was also looking at the eye tracking thing, which would be pretty sick, but I don't know if it's worth it. It's like 200 bucks. I don't think it's this house. Oh, hello. No? I got your mail, lady. Alright, whatever. Nah, but... Eye tracking, maybe like VR. I need to play some cool VR games. Like ones that I can sit down, because I don't know how to set up the camera for, for you know, regular VR. But... General store? This is like a place you'd stop by in a, in a road trip. Hello. Here's the mail, ma'am. Ugh, one of those yellow parcels. Bro. Oh. Isn't yellow the color of fun and happiness? It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. 
As if I don't have enough on my plate already. Jeez. That's pretty nice, actually. I love photography. Oh, no. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. That's true. Well, photography can be just for fun, too, right? Look, if you want to take photographs, knock yourself out. They want me to practice with the mini lab before the service is officially offered. They sent me a practice kit with the camera and film. I'm down. Oh, thanks, but I'm afraid I don't have time for that either. I guess I'll just have to deal with it myself. Have a nice day, ma'am. Bye. Nancy's a bitch. Let's get out of there. Nancy's been kind of mean. Oh, look, it's the lady who left. Why? She just went around the block. We could have dropped her off. Man, would you ever ask a postal service carrier for a ride? Would you be like, hey, listen, I'm going down the street. I've always thought about this. Would you ask a police officer for a ride? Like, I feel like they should be like, yeah, sure. But they're also working, you know? So, like gotta find that balance also hitchhiking crazy thing to do even if I was in a town like this I would never hitchhike absolutely not it's just weird although like well I don't know maybe I guess there's some circumstances where I'd be like yeah I need to I need to and the the family looks nice well, well, like, it has to be a family, because it can't just be, like, one person, because then it's, like, you know. But no. I would, I would hitchhike if it was, like, a family with, like, kids. Because that way, if they murder you, they can't, like, you know. They can't do it in front of the kids. So if you just stick with the kids, then, like, you're good. You're all set. You know? Hi, Kay. Delivery for the diner. Hey, Meredith. Sure. Just, uh, put it on the counter, would you? Okay. Kay, about the other day... What about it? How did things end up with the moon landing? Actually, I got stuck on the moon. Uh -oh. But then I took a really big jump for the rocket and got back on board just in time. Grace voiced a few objections regarding the scientific accuracy of that move, but hey. <laughs> Grace sounds like a great kid. Yep. So... I talked to Maureen. Let me guess. You got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why doesn't that surprise me? That explains why she wanted me to take over today's shift, then. Yeah. She told me about Uncle Stan. Kay doesn't seem to like I'm us. I'm so sorry. She's a bit passive-aggressive. It was a long time ago. Which I guess I understand. I appreciate it. Because it's, not the same without him. it's been a while, but... I'm sorry I wasn't there for you and Maureen. That's we'll get kind of you to say, Meredith. We'll get her. We'll I mean, her. I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I had kind of given up by then. It's okay. I guess everyone has their own things to deal with. Even me. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. Even so, it never seems to be the right reason. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize it's, it's marching, marching across, across your, your face. face. They're bonding. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do it. Oh, Mo. Some things never change. We're gonna... You say that like it's a good thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She was laughing with her mouth, but not with her eyes. It was good. I'm having a feeling Talk, she's... I mean... She's you know. lying. Yeah, it was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. yeah. Okay. See ya. Our honor is growing in this town. We will... We will befriend our old friends soon enough. Don't you worry, Kay. We'll be back. We'll be back with a new package on another day. But for now, I must leave you in suspense. Because playing hard to get is the way to do it. Where am I going now? Where's the where's the, the thing? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Um, we'll go down to the farm now. Drop off that package. And then we'll go we'll go make friendly friends with whoever it was on that other side. Oh, the gas station. Yeah, yeah we gotta go see Lori. And we got to drop off the, the movie, the portable movie player to Lori. Have you ever had those, those like, portable movie DVD players, you know? Like, the ones you, like, can carry everywhere. You, like, put the DVD on the bottom, and then the movie plays on the top, and you, like, carry them around and open them. Those are always the best on road trips, you know? 
If you if you had a, a TV on the back of your seat, that's when you lived a bougie life. But if you didn't, and you had one of those portal players, that's like a, a semi. Secondary bougie life. But you know. That's basically what this is, except with VHS things. I think the year is 1987. I don't remember, but that's what it's looking like. Ring a ding ding. Hey, uh, ring a ding ding. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. Yes. Are you Ryan Reynolds? I reckon your name is Jack Reynolds. Indeed, I am. And I reckon you're the new postal oh. worker. Oh. I reckon you could say that. This well, is. Thank you much. This is the radio you're guy. Here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. I'm hey. Not. Nice to meet you. What a DJ and farmer? What a combo. That's a rare combo. Indeed it is. But it's a nice distraction from farm. Uh, seen better times. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About your playlist. It's really nice. Thanks. But I really need to add more songs. You do. But I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Potato hey, harvest. Listen, postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? It's envelope, bitch. Sure, no problem. Thank you so much. All right. So anyway, as I was saying, those portable DVD players were the shit. I remember I had like all the Mega Mines on there. I think there was only one Mega Mine, but man, watching Mega Mind on that portable DVD player on my way to like some close by place that's like an hour away and watching half the movie that was the shit computers look like a microwave so i'm assuming this is early 2000s or late 90s 1900s yeah microwave computers are indeed a telltale sign that it is at least the 1900s bare minimum i don't know it could be like the 1800s maybe maybe this is like a futuristic town this is a parallel universe but who knows at this point, it could be anything. Moe's Diner. We have to we have to figure out all the clues. Well, they're building an apartment building. So it could be anything, really. There were apartment buildings as far back as the early 1400s. Back when Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Little known fact. When he landed on whatever land that was, it was an apartment. There was an apartment complex right there. When Christopher Columbus arrived, he was like, May I see the door, man? He had a very, a very thick accent. And he, he ran into his apartment complex in, in 1492. And that was, that was all of it, you know? That's what Christopher Columbus did during his early years. He invaded, uh... The, the apartment complexes of the new world. I mean, of course. Of course there were Indians taken over at that point. But, you know. That's basically what, what that was. Wait, where's the package? I'm so sorry, fuck. We got a special delivery. Come with me if you want to leave. Hey, Miss W. You got some mail for me today? No, but I have something else. Angie from the Flick Shack asked me to deliver some movie boxes. She also asked me to deliver some to you. Oh, tight. What are the options? Die. Let me see. The Love Bug oh, or tight. A Nightmare on Elm Street. You'll probably love that bug. I'm almost 16, Miss W. That's a kid's movie. Well, I watched it when I was in college. So you're saying it's an ancient kid's movie. Hey, I'm not that old. So you'll pick A Nightmare on Elm Street? Yes. Give me the love bug. I thought you didn't want that one. Ugh, I don't. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll ground me for a week. Why? I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Basically. Oh, no, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's the love bug for me. Nice. All right, Tell take you it. Take the love bug now, and we'll watch the horror movie at my place. It's a fucking date. Would Sunday work for you? She's what? making friends. Really? 
Yes, it would. That'd be wicked, Miss W. Of course. I'm always in for a good fright. So, see you Sunday? Totally. Thanks so much. Nice. Deal. Have a nice day. What day of the week is it? I don't even know. Our honor is going up 100%. Ah, oh, yeah. Any more history lessons? Yeah. I I can I know all the history of everything. Don't worry. If you have any questions for me, I will answer them 100% truly and honestly. And factually with uh, my sources cited. No doubt. Alright, let's go back to the post office and we're gonna we have we have dates with all our all our friends from from the olden times. Our ancient friends. As Lori said. The one cop is here. The one officer of this little town. What is this place called again? Providence Oaks. Alright. 